Hi, can you hear me? I can. Hi, Nadia. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. I, I was so excited to get your news. Thank you so much for even helping me. I'm just, you know, I, I kind of owe it all to you. I can't thank you enough. I think you really inspired me to take that extra step on my application. I don't take any credit at all. This was this was your work. And, you know, I, I was really honored to help you. I know that uh, as we came together, it was through a nonprofit partner. And, you know, you were just in need of some extra help. And I was I was happy to volunteer that. I, I really, <laughs> I just want you to talk about what happened. Tell me where you just got in. I just got into the University of Southern California and I got in for computer science and the bachelor's of science in the Viterbi School of Engineering. And I'm just amazed because I know they admit about 205 women in the School of Engineering itself per year as an undergraduate. So it's a huge accomplishment. I'm just, I'm shocked. So I did actually get into UC Irvine. That was one of my top UCs. And I got in for computer science, which is also super competitive. And to be honest, I was committed on going there. I was fine with going there. But again, after USC, I was amazed. And apart from that, I got into UC Santa Cruz and some Cal States like Cal State Fullerton, Cal State Long Beach, Cal Poly Pomona. And additionally, I also got into University of Washington. So I thought that was impressive too. And those were just a couple. Talk us through what that was like for you, connecting the values to your essay prompts. For USC, I remember the prompts when reading them, I had an answer and of course it wasn't perfectly formulated, but I knew that, that there was a part of me that I could connect to them, that I was so interested in this school, if that makes sense. So you have to show your interest on the application. Like, especially they asked, oh, what are like some minors or double majors that you're considering? I remember talking about psychology and it was easy for me to intersect those, those ideas because I knew a lot about the program that USC offered. So it's all about just knowing what the school offers and how you can apply what you can offer to the school. Because if you're just writing about anything or you're just trying to make something up that just seems that it fits, it's not gonna work. And then apart from that, on one of the other prompts, it asked about why specifically did you want to go to USC, if I recall. I remember I talked about a student that attended there. I attended a virtual workshop. Um, for one of the students that she actually lived in a city nearby and she attends USC now. So I wrote about her and how I actually looked up to her and I envisioned myself in her shoes too. So just writing about that, I think especially that's what got me into USC. And that's a form of demonstrated interest that you just described. And, you know, for those who are watching this, that's a really important thing to understand is that the colleges want to let in students who they think are going to actually come there. So when yeah. you say literally in your essay, I see myself on your campus and here are the actions that I've taken to do, uh, whether it's a virtual college fair or, or a workshop that's being offered by the admissions office to describe if you have a friend like you do in this situation, Nadia, that is just a, a really helpful sort of confidence builder for the admissions officer who doesn't want to accept you and have you say no, right? Because this, this industry, uh, so much of it has to do with yields, the colleges you know, I'm at, over at UC Irvine, they're over there crying, going, why did Nadia, they're not crying, but you know, they're saying, gosh, you know, we let her in and, uh, and she turned us down in Washington and some of these others as well, because their percentages, their yield of students, percentage of students who say yes, compared to the number that were let in, right? That's the yield rate mm -hmm. is really important to them and their business model. So um, I, I really appreciate that your value of vulnerability and transparency as well. You were uh, in your essays uh, very open about your lived experience. And I think being a female who's interested in computer science is something that we probably wanna touch on. Um, tell me, when did you first realize that that was an area of interest for you? I remember growing up, I was always one of those girls that I didn't like shopping, I didn't like, going to nail polish and just, just shopping. So I was just interested in staying inside. And I had a brother who he played video games. So oftentimes I'd go with him and we'd play. But soon enough, I would start watching videos and it soon became more than just video games. It became on, oh, how do computers work? Or, oh, like what makes up a website? It, it was more of like the why questions. So I always considered those questions in my mind, especially during school. 
So when I started having math classes, we started learning more advanced, um, like just more advanced classes I'd take. That's when I realized that I actually can excel in this subject. And I felt so confident whenever I was doing math. And like a lot of the times I was surrounded by like, men apart from women like me, more men in the field of STEM. So if anything, I just felt I was a part of them. I never felt separated from it. And I guess that idea in itself is what really gave me the confidence to even want to pursue a major like computer science. And I took that with me all through high school. And as one of the only girls in my class who even wants to go in computer science, I think that's what really showed who I am as a person, especially to USC. And I think, again, that's what really got me in because I was honest about that. I didn't want to hide it. I didn't sugarcoat it. And I was just straightforward about it on the application. Uh, and USC has an excellent program to help you determine which, which of those pathways within computer science will be most appropriate for you. Um, do you have a sense of, of what you're hoping that might evolve to become? Well, right now I'm set on software engineering and I'm hoping that I know with a lot of the alumni network connections and things like that, maybe you can get an internship and just keep on expanding on that. But for now it's software engineering, maybe game design. I hope I could even double major even. So I don't want to get too worked up on that, but taking it slow. Um, I think another thing that folks would love to hear about is your course rigor. Um, so when you were in high school, you talked about advanced math. Can you talk us through not just math, but like any advanced placement or IB, just, just sort of let folks understand uh, starting in ninth grade. We don't need to know every class, but where were those honors and AP IB sort of trajectories for you? Throughout high school, I made sure to take the most advanced classes such as English honors. We weren't really offered AP classes for ninth grade. So again, these colleges look at what's available at your school. So obviously right. if you can't take APs in ninth grade, that's okay. As many honors as I could. I was one of about six kids who took biology honors. So I, I'm sure that helped too. And then moving along, I took AP Euro and, and AP Calculus and AP English Language. So I took a lot of those APs and Additionally, I took dual enrollment cl classes, like history. Currently, I'm taking a philosophy class, but it gives you a lot of experience and it shows you that you might have more interest than you actually think. So I took a lot of dual enrollment classes. And again, AP classes made sure to stick with what I'm interested in and what I know I can handle. But additionally, I just wanted to challenge myself. And that's the goal here. If you want to go to a really good school, you have to make sure you can handle those challenges because if you're taking basic classes or just classes that are barely on your level, then maybe you might not be so fit for those hardworking schools. So was this community college dual enrollment? I took it at Cerritos College. And so you had dual transcript submission, which is a strategy. You had honors as well as APs, which is another strategy. Um, getting yourself up to AP Calc, I know was an important piece of getting into that major, which is a strategy. Um, and then, you know, just being able to be differentiated uh, as a female in a male dominated field. My Hispanic background is really what also brought me into USC, like with the computer science and just mm -hmm. bringing out who you are and just recognizing the diversity because there's so many diverse people around you. And if you touch on that subject and you just, again, you're honest on your application about where you come from and you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. So just by talking about my family from Mexico and things like that, it, it really brought who I am out on my application. And I know your parents must be very excited. What, what has your family been saying about this news? They can't believe it. <laughs> we're just still shocked. And I've got a lot of merchandise and we're just taking it slow, but I'm going to come in next week. So exciting. So you know that your parents will now need to do the CSS profile. Have you gotten that news? Yeah. So, yeah, so make sure they get on top of that. Now, so when you go to a private school like USC, for those who don't know, separate from the FAFSA, there is another form um, that has to be filled out and it's called the CSS profile and it's quite time consuming, but that, you know, can also help position you for additional merit-based aid so your tuition won't be as expensive. And, you know, we just want to make sure that you can save as much as possible. Why, why pay more than you have to, you know? Um, so this is all just so exciting and such a great outcome. Um, I, want to, I want to give a shout out to Match Lighters um, and to my friend and colleague, Ethan Sawyer, who 
uh, connected us, right, through through that organization. How did you come to be connected to Match Lighters? I'm part of a scholarship organization called the Onward Scholars Program. We have a lot of college preparatory workshops and a lot of things like that. So they found Match Lighters and they thought it was going to be a great idea because we're all hardworking and hardworking students who want to go above and beyond. So it was just amazing that we got matched together. <laughs> I was so excited and you know I volunteering like that is like it's so you can imagine right it's so fun for me and it's what especially impressive to me that you have navigated uh, a public high school with absolute um like focus and determination and and really you know pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps but what I what I really want to point out here is whatever resources were available to you you found them and you took advantage of them. You know, no one came to you. I didn't come to your house and knock on your door. You know, we got matched because you went through that scholarship program, which then connected you to Match Lighters. Match Lighters connected you to me, right? So um, taking one right action at a time, those baby steps at a time, is probably something that somebody listening to this needs to hear. It can feel overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be when you chunk it down and just do the next right action. And in your case, in this situation, a lot of that had to do just with allowing a mentor to come in. I want to say thank you for trusting me uh, to mentor you through this process. And uh, just seeing you going to USC makes my heart just so full. And I'm really very proud of you, Nadia. Well done. Thank you. And thank you to Mash Lighters. And, you know, like throughout high school, I struggled like a lot with anxiety. So it's not just trying to go to college is also taking care of yourself so just to have support take advantage of whatever's around you and you're going to do great things to anyone but again thank you for match sliders thank you pamela i can't thank you enough